In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create your own 3D cookie cutter using CookieCaster. Once I get to the website, I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to give an opportunity to do the little tutorial. So I'm going to say, sure, I love cookies. And I'm just going to follow these simple steps. So let's create a cloud. Click the anchors. And you'll notice that I have this rubber band effect. And I'm gonna to go to another one of my anchors on the outside. And I'm gonna to continue to click in this process, getting as close to the middle of each of those anchors. And eventually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and anchor in on my first point, and that will be my last point. Now what I'm gonna do is every line that is created, I can then drag them out. I have this little orange dot, if I click and drag, now I can create these curved shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that within the tutorial. Drag each of those circles out to create this cloud. Now what I can also do is I can see three-dimensionally what this looks like. If I choose full screen, I can then click and drag. Now this is what my cookie cutter is going to look like once I print that out. What I can also do is I can create a traced outline of an image. And in this case, I'm gonna use this Nike swoosh symbol and I'm gonna to try to make a 3D cookie cutter uh, out of this Nike swoosh. So I'm gonna click on this trace and if I click on this magic trace button here, and I can just click on the inside of this gingerbread man, and you can see that it automatically creates that outline of that gingerbread. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two things. I'm gonna do my own image. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that swoosh, and I'm going to save that. I'm just going to put this in my downloads. I'm just going to call this Nike. Now I come back to Cookie Caster. I'm going to go ahead and click on this trace button. And I'm going to say upload an image. In my downloads. I'm going to see that Nike image. I choose my magic trace, click in the inside of that image, and you'll notice that I can now turn that Nike swoosh into a three-dimensional cookie cutter. Depending on the complexity of the image, this may or may not work. You may have to experiment a little bit. I could also just start new, and I can create my own image. Let's say leave tutorial. So I'm just going to use my pen tool. I can click and I can drag some lines, eventually coming back. I can then drag those orange dots out. I can also insert points. So if I click on that center line, you'll notice that I've got two more points that I can then Every time it's going to give me a three-dimensional preview of what that cookie cutter is going to look like. Why don't you go ahead and try to make your own three-dimensional cookie cutter using Cookie Caster?